Hello and welcome to Aspire. In today's video, we will look at assigning properties to routes. We will learn how to set up a snow route with those properties assigned to it. We'll also look at how this is going to be viewed in Crew Mobile for your crews out in the field. So let's get started. We're going to go into our scheduling section of Aspire today and come over to our three dot menu on the far right hand side in order to access manage routes. We'll come in here. We have a list created right now with a number of snow routes that exist in our system. And for our example today, we're going to go into our snow one route and look at the settings for where we can apply properties to the route. We'll come over into the middle of the screen where we see this property box and a drop down that should have all of our properties available here. So we will look for a number of properties to add them to the list so that these properties will then be assigned to our route. We'll assign these three properties for now. What we're going to see here is the properties that are going to be available for the crew to choose work tickets from those properties. The benefit of doing this methodology for scheduling would be that you would allow your crews to have a list of properties that are available for them to service and the crew can determine which property they would like to do in which order. They would also be able to determine the service that they would like to do. So this allows for your dispatchers to be able to call people in to service the storm and then assign certain routes to certain crew leaders and ask them to fulfill the property requirements for service on those particular routes. So we do not need to schedule any work tickets this way, but we do leave the discretion of how the order happens with properties up to the crew leader. So if you have crew leaders that are able to make good logical decisions in that regard, it may be a good option for you to use property route assignments for your scheduling methodology for snow. What this is going to look like if we were to save this setup for snow one as our route, we can go and look at this in crew mobile and we would be able to come into our schedule. We can go and find snow one for our route right here. And here are the three properties that have been assigned to this route. If we would like to go to Cory Towns first, we can drill into Cory Towns. And here we would see all of the snow services that are available for that property. In this situation, maybe we're in a transition period and we're also seeing green services. And the way this service listing is going to be available is allowing any in production opportunities that are within this time frame. Those services will show up on this list when they drill into the property. So this would be allowing them to choose the service that's going to be performed. They would be able to choose the one to three inch snow plow service, for example. A note would come up for the property. In this situation, the dog looks like it is a bit of a menace, even in the winter. Maybe it lives outside. So they would be able to start their time, carry out the activity, and finish their work. So this could be, again, an easy way for us to schedule work without having to schedule tickets and a crew could come through and look at a different route 
for example, and go and find other services to perform. Maybe they get done their route early and they need to go and help somebody else. They could go and check out that route's properties and service the service that they need to provide for that event. Another function as part of property route assignment that you may want to investigate or utilize within your company would be that if we're assigning properties to a route, it may be advantageous to also assign certain services. So perhaps this is a route that predominantly performs plowing services. We could add these services to this route and then that service listing that we saw on the route in Crew Mobile would be restricted to the services that are selected here. We could also use service types if we would like to not list out every single service. So that's property route assignment, assigning properties to the route so that you don't need to actually schedule services. It allows your crew leaders to make decisions as to priority and order of operations when they're out in the event. And it allows for an easy way to help your crews understand what their responsibilities are. Hope you enjoyed the video. We look forward to seeing you in the next one.